ディズニー・ミッキーマウス、Those were the days。ディズニー・ミッキーマウス、Those were the days。ホーリー、アンクル・ミッキー、We are late。cried Morty。We are not late、said Mickey。The sun isn't even up yet。But、Mr. Bumbles is up、said b a r d y He pointed。To a sign that read Founders Village, a landmark that showed what life was like in the olden days. There stood Mr. Bumbles, the caretaker, with his suitcase and his train ticket. He was all ready to leave on his vacation. Morty and Faddy ran to say goodbye. To Mr. Bumbles. Mickey and the boys were to be the caretakers of Founders Village while Mr. Bumbles was away. We know just what to do, said Morty. Every morning the horse gets hitched to the surrey. Su- su- Then, when all the people come, we'll take them for a surrey ride around the village. Afterward, we'll serve homemade lemonade and popcorn, Buddy said. We'll make the popcorn on the wood burning stove. Sounds like you have it down pat, said Mr. Bumbles. A taxi came up the hill, and Mr. Bumbles got in and sped away. Won't this be fun? cried Ferdy. A whole week living just away. Our grandparents did. Those were the days, huh? Morty chuckled as they started for the stable to hitch up the horse. The horse had other ideas. It would not go near the surrey, and it would not stand still. The horse pranced and stamped and reared. The boys scampered. And prodded and bladded, but they could not get the harness on the animal. Mickey tried to help the boys. The horse made a snorting, winning noise at him. Then it trotted into the stable and wouldn't come out again. Morty said, Maybe nobody will want a sorry ride today, he said. Maybe if we give people lots of lemonade and popcorn, they won't even remember we have a s o r r y We can hope, said Mickey, but he didn't sound too hopeful. Mickey and the boys went to the kitchen to start on the lemonade. Instead of a faucet, they found a pump for water. Mickey pumped the handle up and down, up and down. The pump rattled and squealed and squeaked, but not a drop of water came out. Morty searched the c u p b o a r d s Where's the juicer? he cried. And where's the outlet to plug in the juicer? We can't squeeze lemony, lemons without a juicer. We can't serve lemonade without ice either, said the fatty. There are no ice cubes. In this refrigerator. It's not a refrigerator, said Mo- Mickey. It's an icebox and it's empty. Then smoke began to blow out into the kitchen. Uncle Mickey, the stove is on fire, yelled Morty. Mickey opened the stove lid. Water, he shouted. Get water. I'll put it out. But there was no water. The pump didn't work. Fatty coughed and choked. He pulled the front door open. I'll call the fire department, he yelled. He ran around the founder's village looking for a telephone, but there was none to be found. In the good old days, people didn't have telephones. By the time Fatty got back to the house, the fire had died down. Mickey had thrown baking soda on the fire. To put it out. 
Dad does it, said Mickey. You two air out the kitchen. I'm going to town. Mickey drove away toward the town. When he came back, he had eyes for the icebox. I made a couple of phone calls in town. Mickey told the boys, Help is on the way. Before long, there was a rattling, clanking, chugging, puffing sound on the road. It was Goofy speeding to the rescue in his old car. Minnie Mouse was with Goofy, so were Horace's horse collar and Korea Bell cow. A car was pulling into a parking spot near the Saturday stable. A mother and father were in the front seat of the car, and two kids were in the back seat. Start chopping, Horace told the boys, and smile. You love to chop wood? You are having a great time? You've got to be kidding, said Morty. But he and Fadi began to chop the wood with huge grins on their faces. They even laughed out loud now and then as they walked. The kids from the car wandered over to see what was happening. After they watched for a minute, one of them said, Hey Dad, can I chop some wood? You can if you promise to be very careful, said the father. I'll stand here and watch. Oh, maybe you'd better not, said the Morty. It's really hard work, added the father. But the kids begged and pleaded. Soon Morty and Freddy gave up their axes and let the visitors chop the wood. Pretty smart, aren't you? said Morty to Horace. Maybe you know how we can hit the horse to the salary. But Goofy was attending to the horse. He led the horse out of the stable and he whispered something in the horse's ear. The horse gave a startled snort. Then it backed up to the sari and stood still and Goofy hitched it up. Presto, the sari was ready for a load of passengers. What did you say to the horse? gasped Freddy. I told him if he wanted to lose his job, I could fix it for him, said Goofy. I said that my jalopy is as old as anything in Founders Village, but it will start easier than a stubborn horse, and the people love to ride in it. The rest of the day was grand. The rest of the week was even better, with sorry rides, and fresh lemonade and hot popcorn for everyone. The olden days really were good. One day, said the father. You bet, said the Mickey. But with good friends, any day is good.